Hi guys, today I'd like to uh, show you a normal histology of one of the organs of our body. And uh, firstly, I guess the audio quality is going to be quite bad since I'm using a normal headphone micro uh, microphone. But still, I think this is basically a trial for me and uh, hope it's useful for you people. Anyway, I'll just scan through and let you guys take a guess at what this organ could be. Moving around, you can see that uh, it's a variegate or, or, or differently colored cells are seen, uh, some of which appear very pinkish and some bluish in between and also you can see blood vessels with RPCs studded in it. And as we move from that end to the other, other end, you can see quite a pale area where you cannot really make out any cells as you saw uh, in the first areas. So what could this be? This is the pituitary gland and what you saw first that is here, this is the anterior lobe which is made up of acidophils, basophils and chromophobes. That is, if you go to the higher power, you will see that some of the cells appear very pinkish and those are the acidophils and some are very bluish those are the basophils and some of the cells do not take up any of the color in their cytoplasm so these are the chromophobes that is they are scared phobic of the color so they are called the chromophobes so you have the acidophils the basophils and the chromophobes and uh, in between you can see uh, blood vessels with these are the blood vessels with RBCs inside so basically it is forming nest like pattern separated by blood vessels. So we will just move on to the posterior part. Uh, this is the posterior pituitary. This is basically made up of axonal endings of the uh, ner uh, nerves from the uh, supraoptic and the uh, paraventricular nucleus of the hypothalamus, those that secrete the oxytocin and vasopressin and get um, stored in the posterior pituitary in the herring bodies and get released whenever required. And one more uh, small lobe is there, but it is quite rudimentary in human beings. That is the intermediate lobe. It is filled with something like a colloid filled look. It has a thyroid like appearance, colloid filled appearance. It is all very rudimentary in case of human beings. And so the main uh, area is the anterior lobe here. That is 80% of the gland is formed by the uh, anterior lobe that is having this uh, three kinds of cells acidophils, basophils and the uh, uh, chromophobic cells and the anterior lobe of the pituitary uh, gets signals from the hypothalamus and uh, with that signal it will secrete prolactin growth hormone uh, then the LH luteinizing hormone uh, fo uh, follicular stimulating hormone thyroid stimulating hormone and adrenocorticotropic stimulating hormones so all these hormones are secreted um, by the pituitary when it get uh, releasing signals from the hypothalamus. And uh, the most common disease that you associate with the pituitary is, as many of you might be knowing, the pituitary adenoma. There are many kinds of uh, adenomas depending on the hormones and cells that get affected by uh, or uh, which produce, uh, which all hormones it produces. Anyway, that's it guys. I hope it was useful. Thank you.